Hey there, guys. It is Josh C. with Seffel, and welcome to Ratchet and Clank. Ran into a little bit of a hiccup for the next Let's Play, so while I try and get that figured out, figured I'd play Ratchet and Clank. Been wanting to do it. Been wanting to play it for a little bit now. And it just seemed like the perfect time to do it. <laughs> I will say, I have uh, I have done one episode of Ratchet and Clank on the channel four years ago now, as like a test run Final back when step. I was doing the Attach the contest. System. Thank you for using help desk technology. So I mean, technically I've done this already. I'm still just going to play through the beginning of the game again. Just because it makes it easier to do. I mean, it was four years ago. So, I mean, why not? This also isn't blind. I've played Ratchet and Clank many times throughout my life. It's a good old fun game that I love to go back to every now and then. Good. We're actually in the game now. You can tell because they uh, didn't compress the game like they did the intro footage. Ooh. Welcome to the Gadgetron Help Desk. We are here to offer you advice during your interplanetary travels. Thank you, Gadgetron Help Desk. I think I'll take it from here. I know more than you. Also, this game is really loud. Why is it so loud? I turn the volume down on my TV whenever I record so it doesn't pick up, but I usually leave it so that I can hear it a little bit. I've had to turn this down to four on the TV. <laughs> Typically, I have it around six or seven. I feel like definitely gonna need to collect plenty of bolts. I don't want to have to sit there and end up having to grind off uh, off camera. The old Ratchet and Clank controls. Bit wonky. They're not really. Let, let, let me be honest here. They're not wonky. But. After 2 came out. They pretty much revolutionized how Ratchet and Clank. Controlled. And then they've just made improvements ever since then. Honestly. I feel like. Modern Ratchet and Clank games play very similar to 3. Once once 3 happened, all the controls have been pretty standard. So going back and playing the old one, 
is a bit challenging for someone that's played Ratchet and Clank for years. I'll say that. It's not janky. It's not clunky. I just have to relearn it. Interesting. We just gonna address the fact that Ratchet's just like jacked some tech that crashed to his planet. Currently, I'm in search of someone who could be of assistance in saving the solar system. Do you know where I might find that fellow? Well, he's on the radio every week. Other than that, no. Hey, what's with all this save the solar system stuff anyway? Hello, citizens of. My race, the Blog, have a small problem. Our planet has become so polluted, overpopulated, and poisonous that we are no longer able to dwell here. But I, Chairman Dreck, have a solution. We are constructing a pristine new world using the choicest planetary components available. So, what does this mean to you, you might ask? Using highly sophisticated technology, which you couldn't possibly understand, we will be extracting a large portion of your planet and adding it to our new one. Unfortunately, this change in mass will cause your planet to spin out of control and drift into the sun where it will explode into a flaming ball of gas. But, of course, sacrifices must be made. <laughs> Thank you for your cooperation. And if you don't like it, you can take your whiny, sniveling, snot-nosed populations, form a line behind me, and kiss my... We're still on? Look, turn it off, you idiot! Amazon went downhill. People on those planets are hosed. Well, good luck getting Captain Quark to help you. Actually, you could help me. If you could use your ship to take me to the coordinates contained in this infobot, I might be able to gather further information there. Even if I wanted to, I can't. I'm missing a crucial component of the ship. The robotic ignition system. How did you know that? I, sir, happen to be equipped with the latest in robotic ignition systems. My programming allows me to start any ship I choose. So, How does I that work? to take you to this wherever it is, and you get my ship started for me? That is what I'm proposing. Deal. This could be a problem. Take care of it. Whoa, this is great! So that's where I've been stuck this whole time. Please return your appendages to the steering mechanism, sir. Huh? Oh, right. Why can't you just Sorry. control it? Oh, and by the way... Well, I guess we saw what happens sir. when you control a ship. Name's Ratchet. Pleased to make your acquaintance, sir. You got a name? My serial number is B54296. Oops. I'll just call you Clank for short. Hang on. Again, just really rude. Just renaming a guy. So you see, it would be most beneficial if your citizens were not in the city when my workers begin removing it. Preposterous. I will not stand for this. Unfortunately, you have no choice in the matter. Let's just see what Captain Quark has to say about that, my good man. <laughs> I don't see what's so funny. Captain Quark could dispatch you without even breaking a sweat, you, you puny. You have now officially worn out your welcome and my patience. This is your last chance. Stop this madness now! Okay, wait. You're right. I will withdraw my troops. Really? No! He's all yours, gentlemen. Try not to leave any marks. Just very rapid fire here. All of the beginning. Clank? Where are you? Oh, sorry about that. Well, we're not leaving the way we came in. Perhaps we could procure a ship from one of the inhabitants. Don't think so. Alright, now which 
way do I want to go first? Maybe this way. Definitely want to try and build up some bolts. I think I need 4,000. Can't exactly remember how many. Not a master of the game, but I've definitely played it. But I do need some bolts to buy an info bot. We'll probably do this than the main path. Oops. A little floaty. Also, the uh, text isn't quite fitting in that box there. And also not going away. You can you can go away, Tex. I I think the text might be with us for the rest of the game at this point. <laughs> Oh, this port is not the best. I say port. This remaster is not the best. Damn. It's hoping that would, uh, would kick it out. All right, well, that's a little bit of bolts gathered See when I was a kid I always thought they were just like mechanical bees Not really sure what they're supposed to be but that's always what I thought they were Another thing I also uh, am going to miss about older Ratchet games is the, the bolt draw distance. Not the distance they're actually being drawn in, but the distance I'm drawing them in. This one is extremely close. At least until you get an upgrade later in the game, but that is actually quite a bit into the game. Hopefully a cutscene will kick this text box out. It's taking up a lot of the screen. It's very rude, just knocking out only a part of the bridge. Inefficient and rude. That's what I say this is. Remember guys, while this text is on screen, do not turn off the power. Don't hurt me. Don't hurt At least it's not during the cutscene. 
What are you? Mercenaries? Torturers? Assassins? I I'll tell you anything. Here, take my infobot. It's all I've got left. Sir, we're not assassins. Hold on. Let's see what he's got. Has this ever happened to you? Hi, I'm Captain Quark, and believe me, there's nothing worse than staring down a Blargian Snaggle Beast from the inside and knowing your equipment isn't functioning properly. That's why I come to Al's Robo Shack for all my electronic needs. Al has been the exclusive repair shop for my super electro gadgets since I was knee-high to a sand mouse. If Al can't fix it, it's not broke. Right, Al? You said it, pal. So if you're fighting crime, or just fighting grime, <laughs> come to Al's RoboShack in Metropolis for all your robotic repairs. Al's RoboShack, it's Quarktastic! Wonder how much you paid for that sponsorship deal. Yeah, Captain Quark is really sold out. No, it means Captain Quark is on Metropolis. We could tell him about this invasion. If we had a ship. Uh, what? Uh, a ship? What? You're not going to torture me? Well, this planetary chairman, I could arrange for you to borrow our courier ship. Cool. You can count on us, sir. Right. Thank You're you not getting it back. Chairman Shipliness. Gadgetron and Phobots give you coordinates for new planets. You should press the button to bring But is the Gadgetron help desk going to go away? Oh, no! It just came back. Oh, I got rid of it. Okay. I'll take it. Alright, I'm kind of hoping now that it's not 4,000 bolts that we need in just, I think, 1,500. Because I don't think I'm getting 4,000 by the time we get there. I'm glad luck was on my side. Hello, gold bolt. I mean, it's not like I'm really going to need them. This isn't a main playthrough anyway. issue with me kind of destroying the inner workings of this city it's gonna get blown up anyway whoop That four. Dad, so that's pretty impressive. <laughs> look, plumber's crack. What did you just say? I said, look, the plumber's back. All right, wise guy. Shouldn't you be on one of them escape transports? Escape transports? Newsflash, giant robots attacking. The escape transports are taking all the rich folks off this god darn planet. So why aren't you on one? Socioeconomic disparity. What? He hasn't got enough bolts. Working people have to wait for Captain Quark to save us. Well, got anything worth a lot of bolts? I got this thing. Shows two weirdos ditching their ship. It's got coordinates to a desert planet, too. An infobot. Ratchet, we could use that. Oh, it's only 500. 
Well, I, I definitely have enough bolts for that. Just give me one second. It's a personal thing. 4,000 bolts! <laughs> it's a personal victory. down a sewer pipe? I mean, we're about to. Mayday, Mayday! This is the Solar Ship Radical. We seem to be under attack from the planet's surface. Relax, kid. It looks like some sort of fireworks display. Probably in your honor. Whoa! That was close! Ah! Pipe down! I can't concentrate! Oh, we've been hit! Uh, an unexpected detour. When we land, I'll see if I can scare up an exhibition for you. We're not gonna live that long! Kid! Let's am scream! Eject! Eject! Did you see that guy on the left? That was Skid McMarks. Does he know Captain Quark? I doubt it. He's a pro hoverboarder, always going off about how cool he is. Looks like he's in trouble. <laughs> I'll say. I've never seen him look so freaked out. I don't know. I'm, uh... I don't know which planet I want to go to. Probably... No, I want to get the Hupper Pack first. Yeah, we'll, we'll go to Oridia after there. Any weapons I can buy? I yes, I can. A very, there. very stretched image weapon. Nope, I, I didn't want to activate you. I wanted to... Alright, let's get going. Come on, Clank. Get you upgraded. To quickly center the camera, just tap the L1 button. Thank you, Gadgetron Help Desk. You're still alive. So, Bomb Glove not killing them in one hit. The dogs it will. But I mean, anything will kill the dogs in one hit. Oh, I should have probably bought the blaster. Hey, did you know that? I don't care. Ooh, wait, do I need the grappling hook for this? I don't think so. Yeah, I, I shouldn't need the grappling hook to continue on this path. Whoa! Hey, Al! How you doing? 
Ratchet. That's the man we saw on the Infobot. Remember? You're clipping through your cool. your shirt there, Al. Hey, you're that robot guy, right? No, actually, I build robots. I myself am not a robot guy per se. <laughs> Nerd. I like him. So now that we've cleared that up, what can I do for you? Well, we saw your Infobot announcement. You were with Captain Quark. We're trying to find Captain Quark. We thought you could help us. Your logic is commendable. However, I haven't seen Captain Quark since we shot that commercial. Say, do you run on standard XP-18 sister boards? Version 7.66. Back at ya. I may be able to help you out after all. How does a helipack upgrade sound? Upgrade? Natch. Since he's a 766, I could have the little guy up and flying in no time. Of course, uh, I'll just need my fee for service. <laughs> Nice, hey, a thousand hey, bolts. I'm doing hey, good. Hey, wait. It's nice to have savings. Ratchet, am I cool now? <laughs> yeah, you the man, Clank. You're welcome. I paid you. If you did it for free, I'd thank you, but I paid you, okay? You you get money as a thank you. Press the R1 button to crack. <laughs> across this gap. While Woo. you're running, crouch using the R1 button and then jump. Oh. Thought there was gonna be a bruiser up here waiting for me. Try using the glide feature of your new helipad. Jump, and then press until the X button to glide. Oh, not good. Just stand still. Stand still. that. Thank you. All I want you to target, game. Speed across that before a guy in a helicopter decides to show up. Finally, a game that just lets me sit back and relax. That was good while it lasted. Dogs right there, then. Oh, sh no, 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 no. Huh. I mean, I don't think I'm missing anything crucial up here, but just in case, I wanted to be able to get up here. Oh, whoa. Y'all are not very good dogs. You didn't chase me at all.
I mean, again, I don't need to collect them, but it was right here. don't check tickets because I definitely didn't buy one. Oh yeah, the bomb glove is pretty much useless on here. <laughs> oh, oh, stuck in place. Wait a second. When did I get hit? Finally, when I don't have to pay for. Greetings, Executive German Drek. Dispense with the pleasantries, Lieutenant. My sources tell me you're behind schedule. You must prepare this planet to be harvested for our new world. Yes, sir. As you can see, everything is moving along as planned. I'm counting on you, Lieutenant. That's the kind of confidence I gotta be looking forward to. I think I'll be I good. Don't take disappointments well. Yes, sir. I won't fail. Drek is destroying yet another planet. Yeah, but if that's the kind of help he's getting, I don't think we have any. It's exactly what I just about. said. You should not underestimate Chairman Drek. He is quite dangerous. Great minds he think alike, Captain Ratchet. Borg. Look, that lieutenant doesn't seem so tough. Let's take him out ourselves. Perhaps we can persuade the lieutenant to tell us where Drek is. <laughs> now you're talking. Oh. Hey, there was something up there. Probably just a gold bolt, though. Uh, real quick, I do have extra cash. I got some great ah, for you. just barely have not enough. Welcome to the Captain Quark Fitness Course. If you're strong enough, fast enough, and clever enough to beat my fitness challenge, you will receive a reward from my head trainer. Simply make your way to the third island to complete the course. Good luck. Quark Enterprises is not responsible for sprains, broken bones, snapped tendons, bruised egos, or accidental death incurred while taking the challenge. Can I rewind that a little Excuse bit? Excuse me, Captain, but we have more pressing issues. We urgently need your assistance. Clank? Yes? Do you notice anything unusual about Captain Quark? Well, I find the fact that he has a spring where his leg should be to be quite puzzling. And why do you think that is? Possibly an injury incurred while battling evil? This isn't the real Captain Quark, you numbskull. It's a robot. Oh. Yeah, and robots are dumb. I mean, no offense. You're not dumb. You're smart. Except when you confused him for the real Captain Quark. Then you were kind of dumb. Other than that, you know, uh, I'm just going to shut up now. I know there's a skill point for going through this under a certain time. But, I mean, it's the same thing with the gold bolts. I'm not going to attempt the... Uh, the skill points. Oh, ah. Nope, nope. 
Made it. Hey, another gold bolt. These moving walls also function as jump slots. Jump and jump again to kick off the walls in the air. Thank you, Gadgetron help desk. I'm good. Again, I know more than you. And this is another reason why I'm definitely not going for that skill point. I want the bolts. How you doing? Listen up, you lard balls. That was the most pathetic display I have ever seen on that obstacle course. What do you mean? We finished the circuit, ma'am. Oh, yeah, but it was weak. Weak, weak! When I was competing, I would devour courses like that for breakfast. <laughs> Bet that's not all. If it were up to me, you would drill, drill, drill for the rest of the day. But I don't have time for that. I'm a main character. That fool, Captain Quark. Captain Quark knows about us? He certainly does. And worst of all, he wants me to give you a prize for that ridiculous performance. Cool, what is it? I'm supposed to give you a swing shot so you can sway to and fro like little insects. All right, let's see it. Not so fast. Today, the two of you disgraced my obstacle course, so I am going to make you pay. But that prize is ours from the captain. That's not fair. Too bad. Life's not fair. God, I'm trying to buy a gun, lady. Sweet. I bet Captain Quark uses stuff like this all the time. Ha! Real men can spin without silly toys like that. The two of you make me sick. Congratulations on your new Gadgetron screenshot. Thank you. Use it on standard Versa targets like the ones nearby. If the target is out of view, use the L1 button to aim. Oh, that's right. Older Ratchet game. It is not just equipment automatically on your person. You have to actually equip it. Well, we finished up that nice and tidy like go ahead and get to Iridia I guess the easiest thing to do first would be go find his agent. And then eventually just come back for skill. Oh! Damn, Bomb Glove is uh, starting to lose potency here. No, no, no. Definitely want to get my hands on the blaster, but it could be awesome. I don't even know if I can do that until after this this world. I need a lot of money. Out. Ooh, ooh, ooh.
I am still, at some point, going to have to grind uh, some bolts. But I want to try and not have to do that for a while. There's only a few things that I can think that I might need to grind for. Everything else, I should be good with uh, just general playing of the game. Hello, thank you. Swing shot. Oh god, get me out of here. Ooh, I don't have the trespasser though. Never mind, I get it right here. There's a gold bolt underneath me, by Using the way. The latest in precision laser technology, the Gadgetron Trespasser is guaranteed to work on Gadgetron's line and Inso lock security doors. I'm not. I'm not going to get it. Lasers are mounted on each ring of the Inso lock. Aim the lasers at the receptors on the outside ring to turn them green. All receptors must be green before the Inso lock will open. I do remember... I, I can't even remember the name of the planet now. The, the one with all the forests. The one with all the trees. I swear I thought that one came later. I guess not. Like I said, I'm not a master. I just have played the game. Ow! Ow! Again! You're a D-bag. Want him to blow that up. On, ratchet focus there are clear signs here on what you need to do your hands look weird no 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 oh, I wanted to I wanted to light them all up I used to love doing that as a kid. I say used to, I still love doing it. I just, I wanted to do it. Because I did it all the time as a kid. Uh, no signal whatsoever. This downtime is killing me. Do you need medical attention, sir? Don't be so literal, son. The problem is I'm stranded on this backwater planet and my star client is nowhere to be found. Hey, we'll find him. We saw you on that info bot. You're Skid's agent. Was Skid's agent. Haven't seen him since our ship crashed. And an agent without a client is like a flea without a dog. Say, you look like an athletic kid. If you can bring back the championship prize from the hoverboard races in Blackwater City, I'll make you my next star. We have no time for trivial matters, sir. Whoa, 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 hold on now. I could be the next Skid McMarks. The good thing is that we don't actually have to go through that again. Because this nice little fast travel.
And I mean, we're already here. Let's just go ahead and finish up Iridia. Hey, Skid. You really weren't that far from the ship. It's him, Skid McMarks. That man from the Infobot. In the flesh, little dude. You guys get a load of that epic space battle I was in? We saw you screaming for help. Uh, that was like a war cry. My agent and I got ambushed on the way to hoverboard practice. Did he survive the crash, sir? Yeah, he's okay. But I've had a little trouble getting back to my ship. How do you know he's okay? Ankle. Oh, come on. We just you saw your agent and he's questioning sharks, where you even are. I just might have a spare hoverboard for you. We'd love to help you, Mr. McMarks, but Ratchet and I need to find Captain... Shh. One of your boards? Hmm. I've always wanted a decent hoverboard. Well... All right, you just keep that foot elevated. All right, basically a bug hunt. The real issue is going to be these spawners. And also, maybe ammo. <laughs> I'm literally burning through ammo. But they leave a good amount of bolts, baby. I'm pretty sure these stragglers will cause an issue, so we do have to make sure we actually get them all. Don't have a rocket launcher, can't destroy that. Wait, actually, can I? I can, I don't need the rocket. But I mean, it's just a gold bolt, so why did I do it? <laughs> I keep saying that I'm not going to get the gold bolts, but I just end up doing it anyway. The allure of them is just so tempting. You can't fault me on it. Oh, no! That was a lot. Here, man. Catch. Nice. A brand new Z3000. You can't even buy these. Well, I got a bail. Catch you dudes at the hoverboard races. You've just acquired a Gadgetron Z3000 hoverboard. Use your new hoverboard at the racetrack in Blackwater City on Fat Wheel Guard. Haven't been there yet, but at least we're prepared. The hoverboard races are going to be a great way to have some extra bolts. And it's also a way to actually grind for bolts using the glitch. I don't plan on doing that. But now we're finished with Planet Iridia. We actually got a good chunk done <laughs> in this first episode. I know it's near an hour long, but we got a good chunk done. So uh, next time, definitely, hell yeah, we're going to do more. So I'm going to head out right now. Remember to like and subscribe and check out the Discord and the Patreon. Links are in the description and I will see you guys there.